Welcome to Today It's Not a Wig. <laughs> as much as I love making the embroidery hoops, and don't worry, we're definitely gonna get back to that, I kind of feel like doing something different this week. I wanna make an outfit. Which makes it sound like I'm going to sew it myself, which I absolutely am not. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like customizing things that already exist is within my realm of capabilities, so we're gonna try that instead. I wanna be able to actually wear all of this stuff, so I wanna try to avoid going overboard with it, cause we die. I know there's gonna be a point for me where it's gonna be worked on too much to the point where I don't wanna wear it anymore. So naturally, the first thing I decided to do was go to Dirt Cheap and scrounge for parts. The first thing I picked up to customize was this pair of earrings. They're made out of pom-pom balls, which makes perfect sense. But right off the bat, I feel like the bunny ears are really not what I'm trying to do, so we're probably gonna get rid of those. And then while I was there, I also found these. Which doesn't look like a pair of earrings at all, because it isn't. Parts fell off. But I only bought them for the earring hooks because I didn't have any. And I thought it would be cool to do a mismatched pair of earrings. So like one will be a puffball and the other one will be something. That's my plan so far for these. I feel like we already know the answer to this, but I wanna see if the smallest eyeballs I have and the smallest pom-poms I have will actually fit on this size of pom-pom. And that would be a no. So we're gonna have to do something else. I'm worried that this pom-pom might be too big. I guess one good thing about it is because it's a pom-pom, it doesn't really weigh anything, so it's not like it's gonna be heavy. Don't mind Simon, by the way, he's very nosy. So I'm trying to figure out right now if everything will fit and also if I have space to put the washers on the back. I'm thinking I might have to glue everything because I don't think sewing it in is going to be an option here. Ears. I feel like those are good enough. So to get the safety eyes and the nose to actually stick through the pom-poms, I'm gonna use the same method that I used last week and just stab through it and then poke those through where I put the hole. And because the washers definitely won't fit, we're gonna glue these in. Now, I probably should be using actual fabric glue, but I've never been able to get fabric glue to work properly, so I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge and hope for the best. His ears were a little bit big, so I'm gonna cut those down and just poke those on. I assumed getting this earring fastener out of this other earring was gonna be easy, but, uh... Oh, son of a bitch, it's really on there. So I just ended up having to cut it out. But before I attach it, glue gun. Because the fastener is metal, it's not gonna stick with Mod Podge, and I wanna make sure that it doesn't fall off the earring. So to make sure it sticks, I'm just gonna coat it in hot glue and shove it in there. One earring down, one to go. While I was making the bear, I was trying to decide what I was gonna do for the other earring, and then it just became pretty obvious that I should use these. What I'm planning to do is sew them in a line so that they kind of dangle. And it was going perfectly fine. All three of the hearts attached without an issue. But for some reason, as soon as it came time to attach the earring fastener to the top heart, But we got there eventually. Is it bad that I just want to make a hundred pairs of these now? I kind of love them. On to the next thing. So I decided I needed a hat with a face. While I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to cuff the hat, I realized I pretty much don't have a choice because if I'm going to add safety eyes, I need to be able to cuff the hat so that the post doesn't poke me in the head. You mean like a weenie? Okay. <clears throat> Just gonna set the earrings here so I can make sure I color match correctly. I think we're gonna go with these yellowy orange puffballs. I'm just gonna stitch the pom-poms onto the hat real quick. So because this is a knitted hat, I didn't want to cut into it to attach the eyes. So I just kind of shoved the eye through the cable knit, if that makes any sense. And it seems to be working fine. Zena nose? No. What about eyebrows? Mmm, smaller eyebrows? 
I was worried I'd be able to feel the posts of the eyes on my forehead, but I actually can't, so that's good. Next thing. This one is going to be the most minimal change because I am terrified I'm going to ruin this jacket. And I actually didn't realize this until just now, but the hat and the jacket match perfectly. That was not planned. All right. I'm thinking I'm just gonna add some teeny tiny eyeballs to this side. And then I'm just gonna add one of the little embroidery hearts on the other side. Now the good thing about the embroidery side is if I change my mind, I can just remove it real quick. The eyeball side, not so much, but I think it looks cool and I'm okay with this, so it's fine. I'm telling myself it's fine. Definitely not a dramatic change, but I kind of like having two of my favorite craft supplies on my jacket now. Now this next one is a pretty good one. There's so much you could do with this. I guess you could say, Listen, she's going to say the word. The possibilities are endless. But this rose gold chain has got to go. Luckily, I saved a strap from an old purse because I thought at some point I would use this. And as it turns out, yeah. Just gotta get the pliers and remove the old one so that I can clip the new one on. Okay, now let's get started on figuring out his face. So I'm gonna take some of the bigger eyeballs for this one because the weight actually doesn't really matter for this since the purse folds over anyway. And I'm just going to poke a hole in the back and shove those through and attach the washers. There's the first one. It's very Muppety and that's exactly what I wanted. Doing good so far. I kind of want to make him a little bit cross-eyed so I'm just gonna twist the eyeballs a bit. Now for the pom-poms on the purse. I don't want to reuse the same colors so I used red for the jacket, I used the yellowy orange for the hat, the dark orange is on the hat and the earrings, which leaves this color. So I'm just gonna put his cheeks right about here and stitch those on real quick. Looking good so far. And then I'm not really sure what I wanna do for his nose. I thought about just doing one tiny puff ball, but then I kinda like the look of stacking them. So I went with a small one and then a slightly larger one. Just stitch that on and yeah. Kind of just looks like a puppet. And now for the finished outfit. I had a lot of fun on this project and I think I want to start making these and selling them in my Etsy shop. So that'll probably happen in the next like two weeks-ish, depends on how fast I can get everything together. I kind of want to do a part two of this where I just make a ton of these because I really like him. So that'll probably be coming pretty soon. I don't know if it'll be next week, but uh, it'll be a week. But that's it for today's video. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you next time.